Finally, we are heating up the stove. We have boiling water in Major League Baseball's offseason as John Jastrzemski and Sal Licata join us to react to the news of Yoshino Yoshinobu Yamamoto agreeing to sign with the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's reportedly a 12-year deal for $325 million, and John Heyman is reporting a $50 million signing bonus is involved as well. So, hey... Pitch, pitch, yeah. and pitch. But, J.J., we just heard Andy Martino say the Yankees' big winner this offseason was landing Juan Soto. But still, this was a pitcher they coveted. So what's your initial reaction to losing out to the Dodgers? So there's no denying the fact it's a blow for the Yankees because I think a lot of Yankee fans were dreaming of an offseason in which they acted like the Yankees. They end up going and getting Juan Soto, and then you're thinking, okay, they're going to give you the icing on the cake with Yamamoto to pair with Garrett Cole at the top of the rotation. Now, I think it would have been a far bigger blow for the Yankees if Juan Soto was taking his talents to Los Angeles as opposed to Yamamoto. They desperately needed the lefty bat within their lineup. There are other ways, in my opinion, they can pivot from a pitching standpoint. I think, Sal, even though the tea leaves were pointing to the fact that, guess what, Yamamoto wasn't going to be a Met, I think it's a bigger blow for the Mets. They needed a splash. They needed an ace. Cohen clearly coveted this guy. I think the Yankees will pivot this offseason. They're far more all in. I don't know what the next move is for the Mets. Along those lines, mm -hmm. do the Mets pivot, and can they possibly pivot to get the Mets fan excited for the 2024 season? No. No, I don't think this is – because there's no pitcher out there. The Mets need a pitcher. They need an ace pitcher. There is no pitcher out there, at least in my opinion, and I take a guess at the Mets too, that is not going to do what they thought Yamamoto might be able to do. Now, the problem is for the Mets, they did all they could do. King Cohen went to Japan. He met with them, had him at his house for dinner, offered the most money along with the Dodgers. He chose to go somewhere else. That's not going to be a pattern here. Most free agents are going to take – the most money. Yamamoto clearly did not want New York. You know what I say to that? Enjoy L.A. Good riddance. You don't want to be the star on a team. You want to be a part, of, like KD joining the Warriors. That's what he wants to go do. And by the way, the Dodgers, they choke every postseason. The only World Series they won was a pandemic-shortened year since 1988. So that is actually on par with the Mets, who won one in 1986. So the Dodgers, forget about them stockpiling these stars. It doesn't work out. The Mets will get big free agents as long as Steve Cohen continues to operate the way that he has been. They got Scherzer, nobody thought they would get him. They got Verlander, nobody thought that that would happen. They had the highest bid on par with the Dodgers for Yamamoto, even outbidding the big, bad, mighty, evil empire New York Yankees. The Mets had the highest bid, not the Yankees. They will be just fine without Yoshinobu Yamamoto.